Hello, I am Mia with the Dependable Compendium. And if you're following me on Facebook or you read my blog articles, you will have come across the trust technique and how using it has advanced the way I work with animals, the way I'm able to help them. The trust technique is a method that helps reduce an animal's thinking levels so they can release overthinking, such as feeling worried or um, anxious, jumpy, nervous, overexcited, and experience more peacefulness in, in any given situation. How does it work? I'll give you a little analogy. So imagine you are really worried about something and you come and talk to me about it and I might listen to you and then I'll have some stories of my own to share, how that has happened to me too or how I really know that and it could be also really hard for me to see you, my friend, so upset. And I could try to comfort you or I could try to give you advice or I could then just say because I can't bear anymore just you know just just chill just relax everything will be fine so with any of those behaviors of me how would that make you feel I just guess that it would overall not be very helpful if on the other hand I listen to you without the need to respond and I could just witness everything that comes up for you and I listen by being present so not mentally checking out I'm with you with an open heart um, until everything that worries you is expressed and there comes this still point where some peacefulness can be experienced. It's usually not for very long because a new thought bubbles up to the topic and you'll speak about it again. And um, they might go back and forth a few times because peace and unpeace, they can't exist at the same time. And for us to find peace, first all the unpeace that we have in us about a certain topic needs to come to the surface and be released before we can truly uh, experience more peacefulness so it's like a little dance that we would be doing and the periods of unpeace would become shorter and shorter where you're expressing what you're worried about what concerns you and the periods of peacefulness would be longer and longer and that's exactly what the trust technique does of course uh, animals don't speak English, they speak with their behavior. And there is a process that facilitates at the animal's pace the release of the unpeace they have about a certain topic to let it go and see it through peaceful eyes, which then will change the whole situation and how they need to behave. Because if I look at the situation uh, from a really worried and anxious in the state, my behaviors that are prompted by my inner state will be different than if I could be peaceful and relaxed in the same situation. So one of the topics I wrote about in on my blog is a storm phobia dogs or other animals to fear of storms, rain, thunder. Um, and I was describing and giving some of uh, some case studies of, of dogs I've worked with, with the trust technique helping them uh, with that topic. But I've not been able to do any filming yet because I have four dogs, but none of them is really scared of thunder. So I had to wait for an opportunity and it came along with Russell. This is Russell. He's a six year old Kelpie that um, is on a dog holiday with us while his family is on a holiday of their own. And Russell is really 
stressed by storms. So his, his usual behavior would be um, panting, pacing, lying down in places, looking really worried by any signs that he deems a storm is coming, which is just some wind coming or some rain. Once the storm's really going, um, it's just really bad. The pacing, the panting, the being really worried and, and really shaking, his whole body is shaking. The family has tried to use a thunder jacket, which they found helped a, a little bit. They've also tried to kind of uh, make a shelter with the legs for him so he could lie under and sometimes that has helped him a bit but usually they just have to wait it out uh, and then they uh, sometimes play with him afterwards to release the nervous energy but sometimes if the storm has been late in the day that whole behavior uh, spills over into the next day and that's actually what happened uh, the day that they dropped him off for his holiday um, the night before was a big storm. It was still raining, which for Russell always meant in the past, uh, worse things are coming. He has to be worried. So when they came, he was shaking. And, uh, Russell is an anxious dog anyways. Um, we've only met a few times. Um, so when he came here to be dropped off and was really upset, um, he felt so defensive that he, he tried to lunge at me. I mean, he was on lead and, and, and his human held him back and that was fine. But it's not something he would have done um, if, it wasn't, if that wasn't already present. Um, and while he has been here, there has been two times where there was rain and wind. And I also want to mention before Russell started his holiday with us, about three weeks before, I went mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to Russell's home and did a trust technique consultation with him and his family, teaching them how to use this method with, with Russell. And they have been uh, practicing with him maybe half a dozen or a little bit more times before he came here. So he was already familiar with the basic process. Uh, that's being used which was really great so the first two times when there was a bit of a wind and rain and he he started looking really worried I could see it in his eyes he was shaking a bit um, I started doing the trust technique with him and within 10 minutes he was just totally relaxed and snoozing like all the other dogs but then came the day <laughs> with the thunder and lightning and gosh one one of the one of the uh thunders was so loud it made me jump to you know it must have been just right above the house and i thought perfect now i can finally um film how what happens when we use the trust technique to help a dog that is really scared of thunder and that's what you're gonna see i've edited um out of 90 minutes that I worked with him during the storm, uh, just the highlights to illustrate um, the different phases and what's happening. You'll be able to see how worked up he was and how re he responded to the trust technique. You'll see how he released uh, some of what he did as well. So I'll be giving some comments to those video snippets as well. Um, I hope you enjoy that. The trust technique is something that everyone can learn. Yeah, I'm not a dog whisperer. In fact, I was really scared of dogs as a child. So, you know, I'm, I'm not this special person that's just really good with dogs. Um, I have become really good with dogs um, through my work, but the trust technique is a very simple method that everyone can learn and can make such a difference in a dog's life that is anxious, that is aggressive, that is overexcited or any other of those states that uh, makes them display unwanted or dangerous behaviors. So I hope you really enjoy this. So here you can see how I worked up 
rustly, so he's panting, he's shaking. And at the same time, also he's already responding to the trust technique. Just keep watching his eyes, I'll talk more about it. What you're watching here is the de-escalation of the behavior. Yeah, his head's going down, his body's still shaking, he's by no means relaxed, but he's responding to the process. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but even if you saw me in the video, you wouldn't, it wouldn't look like I'm doing anything. Um, I'll talk more about this some other time. This video is for you to see how the trust technique affects a dog. As I explained in the introduction to the video, this is like having a conversation with someone who is really worried. So there's times where more peacefulness can come in and in the dog, in, in Russell, you can see, watch his eyes, how they're relaxing and then pop up a bit again and then relaxing more. So there is already, he's already moving towards um, more peacefulness, but his body is still shaking. There's still something going on. And, um, we're doing this little dance at the moment, going back and forth between starting to feel more peaceful and being triggered again into the worry and fear. So here's major unpeace coming up for Russell. You see he even had to get up, his whole body had to move, his panting is strong again, he's sitting there, so his agitation just went up again. There was thunder, so that made him get up again like this and, and have his worry pants on again and express all of this with his behavior. Notice how the sound of the video is on and you can hear my husband doing the dishes in the background but I am not saying anything. The trust technique works with focused presence. Uh, Russell can express all his own peace and uh, look how now the thinking levels are reducing again. He's resting his head, his body has become still, his eyes becoming sleepy again. Of course he's still shaking too so again we're not done yet but rather than escalating he's de-escalating again at the moment working towards that um, until more on peace comes up again for him And here's another round. So you see him again really agitated, panting. Look at his eyes. Look at his look at his everything. And then now um, as it's changing again, look how his body's becoming still again. So here we're a bit further in the process where he's lying down again, relatively still, body still shaking, still things are going on, but um, much calmer than before until more unpeace comes up again. So he can calm himself faster now, can lie down, lies much more still. It's so interesting to watch from his neck down, his body is shaking, there's still all the agitation, 
uh, about the storm and the thunder yet look at his eyes and also look at his relaxed mouth and a little bit of a lip lick saying that the thinking levels are going further down And now Russell is starting to release and one way of animals showing that they are releasing is they're entering uh, a REM state where their muscles and their fascia can release um, tension trauma so watch his the twitches in his foot, the twitches around his eyes, the ears a little bit, the shoulder. So those are all indicators of that he is now processing on a deep level and able to release. Notice how his breathing has changed too. Mostly he's breathing more relaxed. Sometimes he still goes back to that other pattern. So this is him processing and releasing what has just happened. Watch, there's more twitching again. It looks as if I have uh, made the speed faster, but th those are just his real-time muscle twitches um, releasing. You hear through the escal um, exhalations too. So his body is releasing all its stress and agitation. You can almost not see his breathing now. It's so calm. And the twitches go on and on. And this is this lasted for about eight or ten minutes. I didn't, uh, I'm not showing you the whole sequence, but I'm staying with this for a while to show you that there is lots to process for him and he's doing it in his own time. And the rain and thunder is still going on at the moment. I know you can't hear it in the video, but he's. Uh, in a very deep process right now and um, oblivious to the outside world as he is processing and releasing uh, as is evident through all those twitches you can watch and interestingly enough did you hear that just in the background there was uh, um, Two other dogs at the same time were also in this deep state together with him. I guess uh, nervous systems communicate with each other and they are sympathetic to each other. So two more dogs went into a similar state um, as he was in. So here is, he's out of that deep state and you can see the breathing is a little bit uh, labored again, not too much, but uh, see this lovely stretch and sigh, another sign of release. Can you see how his whole demeanor has changed? Something got his attention, but look at his eyes, look how soft they are, look at his ears, look at his uh, body tension. So he is quite relaxed and see there, he's just uh, going like, oh, okay, well, I can just rest some more and be 
with my process a bit more. So um, it will take a little while for him to completely get over his storm phobia, but I would say that's already really great progress for him.